This is the house here on the left. Sorry about the dog, neighbor's dog barking. I just walked past the front of their house. And in the distance, if I try and zoom in, you have sand dunes at the very end there. It's a very quiet neighborhood. And down this street here, you have the wall of the house there, and there is more access at the very back. And yes, as I was saying, it's a very quiet neighborhood. This gate also opens so you can put your car inside. And the only real movement is people who live here. And as we go inside the front door into the entrance hall, you have a nice big wide corridor and to the right hand side there is the first of three bedrooms they all have windows this room um, is used as a gymnasium but it's a double size room and to the other side we also have another double bedroom and again, it's a nice size for a double bed. You could have a wardrobe in here as well. On down the corridor. To the right is a very large sized bathroom. It has a shower and a bath, toilet and bidet. And on the other side is another double bedroom, as you can see, with a big double bed in it. Nice window. And the feature that I have done here on the wall of the stars at night, which actually represents the painting of Van Gogh, if you know that, A Starry Night. And when the candles here are lit <laughs> at night, it really illuminates those stars. We then come through into the large kitchen area. There is an open fireplace here. There is a new electric water heater here 80 liters and it's uh, less than a year old and then if i turn around here oh just to mention there are all new windows and doors exterior doors in the house double glazed and here is the living area with a very large sofa bed in it, actually. Plenty of space here. Makes for one very nice living area. Then we go outside into the garden area. And the boundary is the white wall there at the back. The whole garden is walled. So if you have a dog, then it's all very safe. In this area here, which is at the back of the kitchen, there is a, a well, which is shared with the neighbor. I did try to pump water out at one stage. It has water in it, but I didn't get the right pump. <laughs> so um, it would be good for the irrigation um, to water all the plants in the summer, but I use the normal water and uh, my water bill here is about 
11 euros a month, so it's not much. This is an old bread oven that's here. So you could take it out if you wanted to. Other features, an old water trough, which I think would be nice to just fill completely with flowers. Here is a path that I have started and I will continue to make that a bit longer <laughs> with the stones I've got. Here, another little feature is an old washing um, stone wash washing place and again you can make a nice feature out of that too so in this area here we have just a small area here that I use for composting and there are some vines growing in there too so they'll grow up on, and along the wall there this used to be uh, aviary for quails but it's actually full of wood <laughs> So you have plenty of wood for the fire. I have made a vegetable come flower garden just here with old tiles. So again, it's, it's not a fixed thing. You could actually remove it if you weren't into growing vegetables. We have the beautiful wine tank there, press. And my idea of that was to create a dipping pool. So. I've painted the outside, it's all waterproofed. You just need to, would need to paint the inside with some nice blue pool paint. So let me show you around the garden what's actually here. So just here is a um, maracujá, um, a passion fruit. So as you can see, that's growing up here and it will grow up. The reason I've left all the beams is so that it can grow up here. And that's really the whole reason why I've left all these beams is to grow plants all up them. From this area here, I will just show you here, is where you can bring in and put your car in here. I don't because I have a camper van and it doesn't actually fit through the gate, unfortunately. So here you can see all the new windows. I went with Noz for internet. Of course, you can choose who you want to, but it gives a good signal. I have Sky here. And Netflix, of course. Okay, so as we go down the land, here is another area here, through this door. <laughs> And this is the back of the bread oven here. And there's more wood in here that hasn't been cut yet <laughs> that can, can be used for other projects. So it's just really a storage area for now. And then we go down here. So I'm just going to show you. These are gooseberry bushes and the idea here was to grow them up this area here to form like a nice gooseberry hedge and just beyond here is a cherry blossom tree so that would grow and have beautiful blossom on it. We have another area here which is another area for storing wood. <laughs> As you can see there is a lot of wood in here piled high so there is plenty of wood in here and here is dry so and uh, yeah, I just put my bike in here and other things. So that's that storage area here. And just to show you the beautiful wine press. And inside here, I cleaned it all out. So yeah, we have a series of pathways that I've made round by the vegetable garden here. If you're into vegetables, there is um, like greens, covey growing, there is uh, okra and some beautiful flowers and I planted elf lettuces and I have planted some purple sprouting broccoli as well so for the winter. Here is where the sunflowers were but they've all died. Here we have two plants, this is a lovely geranium and this, oh, I'm going to forget the name of it now, which I already have can't remember I'll put it on the screen 
So this area here, I created like a little seating area because you constantly have the shade of the lovely fig tree that is here. So I have created a seating area here and in front is a small herb garden um, with some marigolds. And here are the chickens. <laughs> if you like chickens and you would like to have them, then I would um, leave them for you. They are lovely companions. They're no trouble at all. And this leads me to their area here. So I've created this really nice area here for them. It's lovely and big. It's actually got two sections so that if... Um, you needed to separate them for any reason or get new chickens and we have two separate spaces and the whole area is fenced as you can see so that I can keep them in here if I want to but I do let them free range. Here is the beautiful lemon tree and the lemons. We've had lemons practically all year round. Just the last month the last yellow ones finished and now you can see all the green ones all the greens that's going to be full again so yeah that was beautiful and over here so this like i said is the fig tree i have planted two orange trees this one here and another one here there is a peach tree just here and then over here is a wildflower garden area that i seeded with wildflowers there's a raspberry bush here too I've got some more uh, cosmos plants to plant in here yet. This is a bougainvillea. So it's not, uh, it did flower a little bit, but it's new and it will next year really start growing and growing up here and along this wall here. So my idea was to cover all the walls of beautiful flowers. There's another little bougainvillea here, which it's got flowers on, but uh, was a lot smaller than the other one. And we have a blueberry bush here. And then this area here is what I put a, a seating area here, but you could actually use this area for a pool. It's big enough to put a pool here if you want. This is another temporary vegetable area here. And the building just over here is just another storage area. You can see that the roof on this side is not good. This side is more or less okay. Just I need to just actually sort that out so, so the rain doesn't come in there a little bit because I have lots of things that I store in there, like my tools for the garden. So let's look back at the garden area from here. Because we've had a little bit of rain, the grass is all starting to grow again. It's lovely to see. So now I'm going to take you into the up the stairs here. And show you the views from up here. This is an area where we've taken all the tiles off of the, the roof here because it was falling down there's a bit of a sea mist today as you can see so this is the area it's a very small quiet village as you can hear there's no traffic noise and so in here is the attic space and as you can see it is a very big space. New windows here as well, double, all double glazed. So this you could convert into anything you wanted to. It's big enough for a whole nother house. You would have to insulate the roof, of course.
let me talk to you about the local area here. There is, in this hamlet, there is a little bar, cafe, that's about five minutes walk from the house. There is an intermarché, which is uh, probably 10 minutes to walk, so a few minutes in the car. And then closer to the beach, which is just eight minutes away from here, is a continent where you can get uh, everything uh, food-wise that you need. We are 25 minutes from Luria, which is the main town of the area of Luria a very nice historic town with a castle, lots of bars and restaurants, lots going on there. And what else? Oh, we are again probably 15-20 minutes from Marina Grand which also has other supermarkets like Aldi and Lidl and Pingo Dos. So, uh, and uh, yeah, Marina Grand also has um, DIY shops and Luria just, you know, has really everything that you need. So I am going to show you next some of the beaches that are nearby here. We have a lot of beaches here and uh, they are very beautiful and yeah, so just enjoy the video of the beaches. the sand dunes and they go all the way around
so perfect. So thank you for watching and if you're interested in coming to view the house then please look in the description where you can contact uh, the agent and arrange to come and view the house. Or if you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments for me and I will answer them for you. Thank you. I am very excited to announce <laughs> that I may be standing in front of my future home. Can you believe that? I can't. <laughs> <laughs>